another project going on here in the uh, total RV renovation. Christina, don't pull on this, please. Hey, Christina, no touch, okay? Um, so, you know, the wife's got the toy hauler garage as her office, and uh, this area will be my office. So, uh, what we wanted to do is completely remove the drawers, and the whole thing was built with pocket screws. There was rail on the bottom that had some staples in it, but uh, didn't have to use the, uh, the the saw, the cutoff saw, or whatever these things are called. You know, I, I knew the plumbing was running through here. Um, I just didn't know how much of a pain it was going to be. And uh, a while back when I pulled out this bottom drawer here, I could see that, you know, it was a little bit further out than I wanted. So I'm going to go downstairs and look to see if I can move this um, over if I can. What I'll do is I'll just very gingerly uh, cut this open a little bit more. Um, and then get these these water hoses on the other side if I can. All right, folks, this is what I have to work with. What I'm thinking is I could expand this a little bit more forward. Bring those tubes down right next to this um, to get them away from over there. Okay, so I cut across here, um, open this up a little bit, and then I loosen the or remove the the um, pipe strap holding this so I could get a little bit more clearance there. All right, folks, we did it. Um, so the PEX is running through there. Uh, I had to get to the point where I was just kind of chiseling it out with a screwdriver and a hammer to get rid of any little corners and kind of open it up a little bit more because I was getting I was getting this, this saw awfully close to the PEX and I really didn't want to have to deal with cutting into one of those. Spray foamed in, uh, and this is actually a spray foam that's uh, designed to ward off rodents and other pests. So, um, it doesn't work on that Daddy, kind of pest. But, <laughs> the desk saga continues. Um, went ahead and built this to, uh, to cover up these pipes here. There's pipes under there. Yeah, you can see them. There we go. And, uh, I actually probably don't even need to screw it down, but, uh, but we're going to go ahead and stain it up to be uh, similar to this color here. And at um, some point, I need to find a little scrap of carpet. I might just take a piece out from under here and uh, remove the bubble and then, just car and then just carpet over it. Yeah, this turned out great. So, I mean, if, if you're looking for a little bit of office space and and you can get away with chopping up your dresser and your bedroom. Um, I think this works out really well. Um, didn't spend a whole lot of time uh, working on the finish here. Just kind of slapped it on. It was 100 plus degrees out. So uh, the, the stain and, and the, the, the um, not varnish, but the polyurethane pretty much uh, went to sticky immediately. But, uh, but it turned out good. Um, hit it with a little steel wool and Kind of smooth things out a little bit. Um, I use this aluminum edging, this three quarter inch uh, poplar, and then I use the three quarter inch um, aluminum in both front and back. I don't know if you can see the back strip. Yeah, you can see that. So I use that just to give this a little bit more strength. Um, it wasn't flexing at all, but you know, something that's over three feet wide over time, it's going to bow a little bit. So um, the aluminum is there just to kind of help with that. Um, you know, if you don't like aluminum right up against your wrist, it doesn't bother me. But um, if, if you don't like that, you can always run something underneath the board um, to, uh, to keep it from flexing. But this worked out great. I'm really happy with it. But beyond that, uh, you know, comment. Tell me if you like it. Subscribe. Uh, tell me what you've done. If you've got a better solution out there. Um, otherwise, have a good one. Enjoy.